Hey everybody, this is Sparlock, and welcome back to episode 8 of Let's Play Persona 4. In the previous episode, we actually saw somebody else on the Midnight Channel, and to me it looked like it was Yukiko, and oddly enough, she is actually still in the normal world, and we're gonna go check out the Midnight Channel and go talk to Teddy and see if he knows anything what's going on. So anyway, here we are at Juness in front of the big TV, about to see if we can contact Teddy. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? <laughs> I like how they think this will actually work. He tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you? What? That son of a bitch. What's wrong? I like how the girl on the left hand looks over. Shh, not so loud, you idiot. <laughs> Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Um, I'm fine. I'll be all right. I think I'm gonna cry. Mm, let's get some. Let's get some sympathy points here. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh come on! Don't cry. Sheesh! That stupid bear must have done it. Hey you! We know you're in there. Oh, oh is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Damn it, Teddy. This land feels so barren. Oh, oh my god. All right, thus begins the puns. Teddy, lovable bear. Shut it! <laughs> so there's no one inside? Your Chie is not amused. I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Uh. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. So it's kind of weird, it's either that wasn't uh, Yukiko, or it was Yukiko and for some reason she's showing up on the TV right. Don't forget to watch tonight. without being thrown in. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. So yeah, that kind of throws a wrench into our plans. Oh. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. So it kind of seems like the cops just have no idea what's going on. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Yeah, those cops in the background kind of don't seem like they're doing anything at all. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. 
He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was hauled up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. I kind of feel like that's the only thing that we know for sure is that it's somebody in Inaba. I, I, maybe that's not even true. Like right now, it's all speculation. We really don't know anything for sure. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? I don't think Itachi knows anything about a detective's intuition. He kind of seems like a noob. Ah, uh, we have control. I don't even know why. I don't even know why they tease us like this. They should just like have us auto save and move on because this is this is just torture. We can't do anything. Also, I want to talk about something that I messed up in the last video. We can actually check uh, our status and look at our stats. So here's Charlie, and I forgot the switch info button down there at the bottom. So we switched up, and this shows all five of our stats. So right now we are at level one with everything. And as the game progresses, we will slowly but surely level these up in, in several different ways. Answering questions, talking to people, um, reading books, um, you know, all, all sorts of eating food, I think, is one of them as well. But there's all sorts of ways we'll be increasing these, and they do really matter. There are some social links you cannot start unless these are at certain levels. Uh, there are just certain uh, things you can't say unless they're at, at certain levels. So anyway... Um, just, just a heads up. Also, if you do a new game plus, and you carry over your 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 current character, you actually carry over his stats as well. So, there are some things, some options in this game that are impossible to choose unless you're doing a new game plus, because there's no way you can actually increase your stats fast enough to be able to do those options. So anyway, I think that's enough explanation for that. Moving on, um, Nanako, what's up? Hmm. Nanako is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. Okay, I'll leave her alone. I, I get the picture. So let's save it up. And I guess we'll head to bed. Let's go to your room. It's raining through the night again. You should check the midnight channel tonight too. Uh, watch TV in your room. Yep. There's, as usual, we have no choice. It's raining tonight. This is a very familiar scene. Last time we were here, we ended up hurting ourselves. Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise! I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud! What the fuck? Welcome to Not A Dream, Not A Hoax! Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming! And I came prepared! I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom! <laughs> I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! What the fuck did we just watch? It was awesome, but what the fuck? That was definitely Yukiko. Hey, did you see that? Oh, yeah, I saw it. I recorded it. That was Yukiko san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? What? 
Yosuke, how about the what she was wearing and the lacy on mint man? She looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before too? What's going on? Um Let's try to contact Chie. She probably knows a good way to find Yukiko. Sounds good. So this is the second time we've seen Yukiko on television. The first time we found out that she wasn't inside, and hopefully she's not inside this time as well. It's time to go to bed early that night. And it's midnight, what time do you usually go to bed? I don't know, after seeing that, I'm not sure I could sleep. Oh, good morning. Morning, Nanako. Seems that only Nanako's here. Um, where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. Aw, it's so heartbreaking. Just leave it all. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. It is so sad this this child's being raised on television. As for next week's forecast. Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh weren't you going somewhere? You decided to go out. Leaving that poor girl here all alone to be raised by the television. You're a fucking horrible human being, Charlie Snoku. Horrible. Sorry for the hold up. But you got shit you gotta do. Oh god, Yosuke, what what are you holding back there? What do you got? I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Oh god damn it, Yosuke. I mean that's those are pretty awesome, but we've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Um, I, yeah, the katana looks pretty cool to me. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. Oh, well, that, that's not going to help much. As for me, wait, maybe both would be good, too. I like how the chick over there to the left is just is watching us. She's like, what in the hell is that dude doing with those weapons? Kind of like no, this? No, really, what is he doing with those? God damn it, Yosuke, stop. That's. <laughs> or like this. God damn it. What about this? This is why we don't let Yosuke make any decisions. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. <laughs> Sorry, item. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean. No, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Yo, Skid, just shut the fuck up and let me do the talking. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> the patrolman sounds... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspects. Nice job, Yosuke. Nice job. Everything was fine until you started waving them around. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. Don't look at me, it's, it's totally Yosuke. It's all him. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. 
Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Yeah, Yosuke. Not again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh. Um, am I allowed to say? Come on, young detective. Just spill the beans. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamano was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? This guy is like the worst fucking cop ever. Why would you tell people this stuff? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? <laughs> oh, Dojima. Hey, civvies are people too, you know. Sorry, I got it right here. Did I said anything? Please. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll forget it. Hey, Chie, did you hear what this blah 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 blah? This guy said blah blah blah. All right, so apparently Yukiko has gone missing, which hey, is really does that bad. Detective think that Yukiko-san. There you and are. And on top of that, they're kind of thinking that she's the one that killed Saki. Looking everywhere. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her Sal, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it, it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? What the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. All right, guys. Let's all calm down, and then we can focus. You're, you're right. So, what are we gonna do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. I'm going too! And that's final! I'm gonna save Yukiko no matter what! Are you gonna be alright? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. I still got my golf club. Weapons? I know just the place. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Follow the Kung Fu Master. Maybe this is where she got her Trial of the Dragon. Wow, this place really is... Man, they all sorts of shit. 
It's armor and swords, axes, helms. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? A metalwork site, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? And how's a place like this still in business? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Oh, here, this one looks good. Oh, but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel! Yuki Ko might die from this, for crying out loud! Aw, Chie. I'm going, and that's that! Um, okay, but stay behind us. I don't think we're going to be able to talk her out of it, so. I don't think we should. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I'm I'm picking out what you're going to wear. It's kind of it's kind of weird. All right, well, if you're giving me money, I'll do it. Sure. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. That is the worst fucking idea I have ever heard. That is that is just terrible. However, guys, I'm just going to throw us out there. That's what they do. And you're just going to have to, you know, believe it. It's the way the game works. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna hide my giant katana in my pants. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. All right, so we actually have a little bit of control here. We can actually do some shopping. And holy shit, what happened to that guy? <laughs> that is that is quite the facial hair he's got going on there. I'm I'm a little bit jealous of that. So, uh, anyway, let's see what he's got to sell. All right, so I've kind of decided ahead of time what I'm going to do. Basically, what I want is I want to buy armor and weapon for the main character, for, for Charlie. He is going to be a sort of our, our tank, and we don't want him dying in battle, and also we want him to do the most damage, so... Yeah, sure, he'll go ahead and equip the imitation katana and sell our golf club. Nope. No, no, no. No, no! Oh my god. I can't believe I just did that. I was too busy talking and just hitting buttons. Whatever. It's not a big deal. This is all, like, really... Piddly shit. Don't don't worry about it. Man, I can't believe I did that. Already screwing up, and this is the first time we're buying stuff. So we don't have any money to do anything else. I was just gonna buy him some some chainmail armor, and it doesn't increase defense that much, so not a big deal. We really didn't lose on him much, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave. All right, I guess we're splitting up. Oh God! Seems the others can't see the door. So it finally begins. Now, if you 
you give me a moment of your time? The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Oh, hey, it's the Velvet Room. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. Oh, Igor. I don't want you giving birth to anything. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. And by that, he means it'll be a mini game that you have to watch the card as they spin around and, you know, Choose the correct one. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Okay, so basically, because we have a social link with the Yosuke, and we create, uh... The tome you see in my yeah. hand is the nope. Persona Compendium. Okay, Marker. So basically, he, uh, Yosuke is the Magician Arcana, so if we create a new Persona of the Magician Arcana, we will get extra experience based on what level our social link is with Yosuke. Registering the Personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. Uh, to explain a little bit of what he was foreshadowing there, basically, if we don't save the person that's trapped in the TV by a certain time, it's game over. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. All right. Well, that was a, that was a pretty quick trip into the Velvet Room. Now, there's not a whole lot we can do there right now. Soon, oh so soon, we will be going back. But look at this, guys. We actually have a way to walk around. We're in town. We're actually able to talk to people. Out of towner, hey, did you hear about it too? Murder, murder, I say. Even worse, a serial murder. I thought I could relax out there in the country, but this, I'm more tense than ever. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to everybody, and I'm sorry about that sound in the background there. Uh, um, but we can go to all sorts of shops, uh, there's nothing we can really buy right now, there's an item shop where we can stock up, but there's really no reason, I'm gonna walk around town a little bit just to show you guys what this looks like. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here, because there'll be times where we will be spending a ton of time here, and this place doesn't change very much, so, anyway, basically this is the end of the map right here, as we run out into traffic, you remember that you're supposed to meet the others at the Junus food court. Go to Junus? Yes. You know what? I think we're at the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.